It's Tuesday, February 28, 2012. I'm Bridget Carey on CNET.com and it's time to get loaded. A slew of new mobile devices are being introduced this week at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain. But one model that's getting lots of attention at this trade show is the 808 Pure View, a Nokia phone that packs a bizarre 41 megapixel camera. 41 megapixel sounds absurd, but it's worth noting that it's not saving a massive 41 megapixel snapshot, but rather the sensor collects 41 megapixels of data and then shrinks it down to a more manageable file size. It also records in full HD 1080p video, has high quality audio recording, and is due out in May for about $600 before subsidies. It's running on a Symbian operating system, but Nokia says they're working on taking this better camera technology to Windows phones. Scientists at IBM say they have made a breakthrough in quantum computing, proving that a quantum computer is not only possible, but within reasonable reach. A quantum computer goes far beyond what the best supercomputers can do today. A traditional computer bit has two states, off and on, or zero and one. But quantum computing means it can exist as on and off at the same time, and at all points in between. It allows for millions of computations at a time. IBM says this would be key for doing highly sensitive and extremely fast encryption work. Yahoo is threatening to wage war on Facebook in court. The New York Times reports Yahoo is demanding that Facebook license about 10 to 20 patents held by Yahoo. Facebook representatives said Yahoo brought these demands to them the same time Yahoo talked to the Times. So Facebook hasn't had a chance yet to evaluate Yahoo's claims. The patents in question deal with advertising, website personalization, social networking, and chat services. The social network Google Plus boasts it has more than 90 million members and is growing fast, but one report says users hardly spend any time on the site. Comscore reports users spend about 3.3 minutes a month on Google Plus, and that number has dwindled as each month passes. Compare that to Facebook. Users spent an average of seven and a half hours on Facebook in January. A new smartphone app is about to make it really easy to instantly send a gift to a Facebook friend the moment you read about something big going on in their life. It's called Karma, and will scan through Facebook posts and highlight when someone got a new job, is having a birthday, or maybe is just having a bad day. Pick out a gift from the Karma store, and if you don't know their personal taste, narrow it down to a category and let the receiver choose their favorite style. You can even send a digital greeting card to go with it. All the receiver has to do is tell Karma where to send a gift. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Bridget Carey for CNET.com and you just been loaded.